Hi uh, YouTube, this is Patrick, and this is my review for Dexter, Season 6, Episode 8, I think. Um, it was better than last week, um, but the show has seemingly decided to start getting itself going again, which is something I would have liked to have seen not happen at all. I would have liked to have them just kept momentum that they had from two episodes ago going. Uh, but things are progressing uh, a little bit. It looks like uh, Brian was a one-shot, and that's it. Um, so that's annoying. Um, but all right, that's last week's uh, complaints. This week, um, it, w it was good. Um, Dexter is getting closer to finding Geller, or he's got Travis, basically, uh, completely on his side to help him take out Geller now. Uh, that is, if Geller is real, which they are really, really walking that line of, is he real or isn't he? And, um, it's getting a little frustrated. I really hope when the, if he ends up not being real, they don't make it like a big deal. Like, oh my god, he's not real, because a lot of us figured it out pretty early. Um, but, uh, I like Dexter going to the priest with dementia, and he was able to confess some of his sins. Um, and had the priest actually still listened before the, the guy, like, kind of, you know, regressed and forgot where he was again, it probably would have been even nicer for Dexter to actually say, um, you know, what he can't say to anyone. Um, let alone his sister, which brings that brings me to the best parts of the episode, and usually the best parts of Dexter, or scenes between Dexter and Deborah. Um, things are really starting to heat up a little bit between the two of them in the sense that she's getting really pissed at him. And the Nebraska pen, you know, is going to give her, you know, gives her some kind of inkling that something he's got something else going on, and she knows he's got something else going on. Um, and if they find that guy in that Nebraska-like warehouse that they threw in, you know, she's going to put two and two together. Um, so I'm hoping that, you know, we keep on hoping for Deb to find out about Dexter. Maybe this will be the end, this will be the season that happens. Uh, she, she's pissed enough at him to, uh, really start maybe, you know, investigating him. Or really starting to try to kind of, like, pump him for information. Um, she said that he treats her like shit, which is not what he's trying to do. From her perspective, you can probably understand that, but, uh, you know. How how is he supposed to tell her? So, um, but anyway, that was that was those are my favorite parts of the episode. Um, everything else was a little kind of whatever. I mean, uh, Quinn is still like an idiot. Um, now they're just having Quinn just get shut down left and right, um, which has gotten uh, a little tedious. Um, Batista just like drilling this new guy was kind of, I mean just kind of over the top. Uh, and I was like, I mean, I, I was loving Batista and Quinn, like, getting high earlier this season. I didn't find that to be over the top or anything like that. That was amusing. But him just, like, you know, being the overprotective brother um, was just, I don't know. It seemed... It seemed too protective. Like, I understood him punching Quinn in the face at the party a couple of weeks ago, but, you know, just drilling this guy for no reason. Um was, uh, that was just kind of unfair. Uh, who else? Uh, I hate LaGuerta still, so any of her screen time sucks, but they've, but I, I, in her defense, can't believe I'm saying this, they haven't given her anything to do this year, at all. Although it looks like they finally gave her something this episode with the, uh, she is trying to cover up the, the prostitute death. Um, I guess eventually we'll find out who that is, who she's covering for. Um, so that could be pretty bad for her, and that gives Deb a, a shot at, um, you know, figuring that out, uh, which would be nice. I would love to see that. Uh, what else? Travis's sister is dead. That was awful. Um, and what's worse, either... What's worse is that he might have even done it if Geller is not real. Um, there's really, there's not going to be any way out for Travis this year. Dexter is not going to be able to save him. 
Um, if Travis is Geller, you know, if they're one and the same person, then obviously Dexter will kill him. Um, but uh, if Travis is real still, I don't think it's gonna. It's, he's not gonna be able to. He's not gonna make it out. Um, I'm trying to think what else. I don't know. They said it was kind of like there really wasn't much going on. It, it, like they're trying to ramp things up again for the next couple of um, episodes before the season ends. Um, and I'm a little discouraged here because um, the first half of season six I thought was really, really good. And these last like two episodes have been weaker. And it's supposed to get better as it goes on. Um, I mean, they still can. They still got four more episodes to really you know, get things going, which I think they will. I hope they will. Um, but it's gotten weaker the last two weeks, and that's, uh, that's frustrating. Uh, but we'll see. Uh, good news is that Showtime settled with Michael C. Hall. We get two more seasons of Dexter, and according to Showtime, it's most likely they will be the last two seasons. Um, which I'm hoping for just for the fact that, one, I, I love the show, and I don't, I, I love the fact that there are two more seasons of it. I didn't want it to end this year, that's for sure. Um, and would even, to me, feel a little premature if next year was the final season. But two more, I think, is perfect. I think we can get two more out of Dexter. Um, but that's got to be it. I don't want season nine. Eight seasons done, over. That would be fantastic. Uh, so I think it's great news. Uh, let me know what you thought if you hadn't heard of that yet. Or, um, yeah. All right, guys. I will see you next week. Adios.